Hi everyone, my name is Sam Cusimano and welcome to Electricity for Progress. Today we're going to be looking at the plant wave from Data Garden. This is a biodata sonification device which uses Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in order to communicate uh, biodata to a phone app uh, specifically. <clears throat> they have apps available for Android and for iOS uh, and I just received a, a package with uh, two of these to, uh, to work with. So let's open up the box. Plants are here to teach us to listen. <laughs> cool. Uh, so this device looks really, really good. Uh, the packaging and enclosure is a little bit different than the prototype device that we were looking at uh, a few months back. But it looks like all the main components are there. Uh, the finish on this part, whether it's, I guess it's injection molded of some sort, really feels good. Uh, and uh, wow. The fit on the connections is super, super tight also. So very precise, uh, very precise engineering on that. Looks good. Uh, also in the box, we have a set of, oh, these are nice. Uh, these are clip electrodes with flat uh, alligator clips that could be attached to the leaves of plants without doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, we have, oh, very nice, uh, a white USB-C to uh, normal USB-A cable. I uh, hear some snap trodes, and we get uh, two pairs of uh, sticky electrode TENS pads. <coughs> so, very nice. Everything looks really good. Uh, the, uh, yeah, these electrodes look really nice. Everything looks really smooth and white, and, uh, yeah, silicone cable that's actually always really nice to see so uh, I guess I'll plug it in uh, just in order to give it some power especially if it needs to charge okay and uh, let's zoom in down here okay so the USB-C port plugs in right there, and we can see the charging LED is illuminated. Uh, I guess this will turn green when it's fully charged, so we'll leave that in there for now. And uh, we'll just plug in, let's plug in these, uh, these cool little clicky uh, alligator trodes and put that into, so that goes into the port on the side. There's also what looks like a headphone port on the front. Um, of course, this device does not output audio. It outputs uh, MIDI data and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi data. Uh, that is for a MIDI converter cable uh, that can connect to a synthesizer uh, or to a computer using serial MIDI. Okay, but here I've got my electrodes, so everything's all plugged in. Um, I didn't read the instructions. There's a link listed inside of the box right there, but I'm just going to see what happens out of the box. Uh, so I will turn it on. Okay, and after a moment we get the normal light show. That looks really great. Uh, I know that well from when we first made the uh, MIDI Sprout. And now I'm just going to touch the electrodes with my fingertips and yeah, everything lights up really cool. So at least it lights up out of box. That's cool. Let's slide in uh, this iPhone and I uh, yeah, it's my mom's iPhone. She was nice enough to give it to me when she upgraded. Uh, let's open up the Plant Wave app. Uh, I'm going to click the Connect button here. And it says to connect. I'm going to click Connect Plant Wave. Press and hold the pairing button to put it in pairing mode. Oh, it says success. All right, I didn't really do anything there. Um, it just did see it and connected. So I'm going to Click the little dot next to plant wave there. Did the little Bluetooth pairing. That was nice actually. It didn't have to make any approvals or anything. You might have to do a click through on your phone depending on how your security settings are. But it looks like we're connected now to plant wave. Uh, multi mode. I don't know what that is, but we'll save that as a delight for later. 
So I'll close out of here and now we're in the main screen. We have uh, points on waves as the sound set. And I'll squeeze the electrodes and hopefully lights will happen and we'll uh, hear some music. All right, so that is the, uh, the Plant Wave app that Data Garden has made. And so they have a whole variety of Emerald Journey and other sounds that you can choose. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. And as well within the app, you're able to, I believe, uh, pay to open up additional sounds and, and options, which is uh, yeah, an interesting process. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna click on our devices there. We see the plant wave right here, which is the sky. I, I'm just gonna look at all the settings. So here we can adjust the brightness of the LEDs, um, the sensitivity, we've got a firmware version listed there advanced MIDI settings. All right, check it out. So we can change our MIDI channel and things like that. Um, that's really, really great. So uh, yeah, this uh, was really a follow-up to the demo that uh, I had done of the prototype. I think everything looks really, really good here. And uh, it was, again, pretty easy for me to set this one up and get it running. Uh, so if you have one of these, I hope that you're having a good time with it. I uh, hope you had an easy time setting it up. Um, I actually, while we're just sitting here, I might as well uh, slide in my Android phone, right? And uh, let's try to, uh, I'm going to disconnect the, <laughs> I'm going to disconnect from this iPhone. And then, all right, turned off Bluetooth there. So now on my Android phone, I have Bluetooth on, and um, I will go to uh, MIDI, <clears throat> let's see, MIDI Bluetooth. I know that you need to use like a weird MIDI Bluetooth scanning app, I think. Bluetooth scan, and uh, hopefully, it will uh, see, uh, no, nah, it's not seeing the device, but again, I didn't do anything special here. Maybe I have to push and hold the button. And I'll click scan. <laughs> oh, let's see, one more check here. Well, it's not seeing anything there. I'll try to pair a new device. Well, we see plant wave show up in the pair new devices. So that's good. That means it's seeing it. Uh, let me go to the plant wave app. There we go. All right. And then once again, we'll go to connect. We see plant wave there. Okay. Yeah. Pair. Right. Uh, very nice. Again, this that was really easy to get this to pair with my phone. And uh, let's see. Let me do this real quick. We'll mute you. And unmute you. And now we should touch the trodes, get a light show, and maybe do we have some sound? Uh, There we go. So it uh, looks like it's lighting up, but we're not hearing anything on my mix. I'm sure this is user error somehow. Let me unplug the cable. Try this one more time. And oh, it's probably my volume is all the way down. We'll try one more time, just plug it into the top of this thing.
Well, I wasn't able to get the uh, Android device to sound, but it looks like everything is connected. Um, and it's lighting up when I'm touching the electrodes. So again, that's probably just something that I didn't have set up right here on the fly. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm really excited about using this device. I, uh, I like to do installations where I have multiple plants uh, distributed over an area, and with these being able to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, that makes that pretty easy. I also have been working on uh, my own versions of a BioData Wi-Fi board here, this one connects to an uh, ESP32 uh, feather board from Adafruit, and it has some through-hole components, really simple circuit uh, to get biodata into a, uh, a microcontroller, um, but there'll be more to come on my versions, uh, and of course, open source code and things on my GitHub site. So, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this quick video about uh, the plant wave, and uh, congratulations, Data Garden, this thing looks really great. And it seemed to work for me right out of the box. So cheers. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.